Hi, I'm Alan Henderson, Director at Erskine & Owen. We are really excited to be bringing you our latest syndicated offering that we think is very compelling given the strength of the tenant, the location and a great yield. Our Business Development Director Toby Hun will run you through the key elements of the investment and Director and Co-Owner of Erskine & Owen, Lisa Phillips, will explain why we are big believers in the property location. Hi, I'm Toby Hunt, Erskine & Owen's Business Development Manager. We are really excited to be bringing you our latest syndication offering, the Watties Distribution Centre located in Hastings with a projected return of 8% per annum. This is a substantial industrial complex that has a total gross floor area of 45,300 square metres and sits on a 6.3 hectare site. The distribution warehouse handles over 1,200 product lines with a rail siding connecting it directly to Napier Port. The property is directly adjacent to one of the main Heinz Watties manufacturing plants that produces a significant proportion of their product range. The tenant, the much-loved and iconic Watties, is owned by Kraft Heinz, the US-based Fortune 500 company. They are the third largest food and beverage company in North America and the fifth largest in the world. Their annual rent is $2.2 million and the lease has seven and a half years left to run. There is also another small building on site which is leased to Tomoana Warehousing which pays an annual rent of $60,000. A possible risk of this offering is if Watties vacates at the end of the current lease term. However, we believe this is mitigated by the fact the property is directly adjacent to their production facility. It has its own rail siding and so much of their raw materials are sourced from the surrounding area. Additionally, the cost to establish a new facility would be substantial. So, to summarise, this is a great opportunity because it has a yield of 8%, a very strong tenant and the location is favourable because of its growth. There are 160 units available at $100,000 per unit. To access this opportunity, please contact myself directly or fill out the form below. 13 years ago, Lisa Phillips and I started Erskine and Owen because we believed there was a need to help people make intelligent property investment decisions. We started as a buyer agency sourcing properties for individuals which grew to include property management and mortgage brokering. But as our clients' portfolios grew, so did the demand for alternative property investment options. And it was this demand that seeded the idea of buying larger properties that clients could jointly invest in, commonly known as property syndication. Over the last several years, we've successfully subscribed eight syndications. And we've got a great team who are passionate about sourcing property for our clients so they can achieve their financial goals. Hi, I'm Lisa Phillips, Director of Erskine & Owen. The Hawke's Bay is an area we have been researching for some time, and our belief in its potential underpins our decision to invest in this part of the country. So why the Hawke's Bay? Firstly, it is a key horticultural region for New Zealand. Apples, grapes, vegetables, to name a few. As the local and global population grows, so does the demand for produce. And what better location to source a product than the clean, green reputation of New Zealand? The growth of this industry is phenomenal. Recent information suggests that one million new apple trees will be planted in the region by 2021. All of this produce needs to be harvested, processed and stored. That means more labour, more demand for warehousing and production facilities, and commercial space in general to house the support services. Not to mention the new housing that will be necessary as a result. It's no surprise then that the GDP growth for this region is greater than the national average. While the agricultural and horticultural industries are undoubtedly the backbone of the region, the growth in tourism is important. Napier and its Art Deco architecture is a natural drawcard. But that is just the start. Think also, 
concerts and beautiful vineyard surrounds with artists like Michael Bublé and Elton John, weekend getaways to explore vineyards by bike, and a world-class golf course at Cape Kidnappers. All of which will only increase in volume with the expansion of the Napier Port following their recent IPO that raised $234 million. Tourism spending in the Hawke's Bay was up 3.6% last year with a spend of $658 million. Having spent time in the area to conduct research, it's pretty astounding to discover how the area has developed over the last couple of decades, with growth in wineries, orchards and cafes. The Hawke's Bay is experiencing higher than anticipated population growth, which has led to some of the strongest house value growth in New Zealand. That is in stark contrast to many other regions in the country with subdued house price growth. We expect that growth to continue as young families seek more affordable and lifestyle focused locations. In terms of commercial property, the average value of non-residential consents increased by 23.9% for the March 19 year, a total annual value of $153 million. This all points to the Hawke's Bay region as one in a really exciting growth phase and a compelling investment destination. Our last syndication offering, also with an 8% yield, was sold down in a matter of days. We expect interest in the Waddies investment opportunity to be strong, so I encourage you to make early contact with us.